all right guys so welcome back to my channel um this is angel with angel spiritual messages this is going to be a love monthly for the sign of capricorn and i will tell you why because capricorn on my last no contact um read um energy check you guys were the most viewed um, on that video i got the most subscribers from that video i got the most comments um, from that video um, and in second place um, it was then Virgo and then Taurus so my earth signs really came through for me as you guys know I am also um, a Capricorn so I really appreciate that it was an amazing birthday to see that you guys showed up um, for me so I'm going to go ahead and do your love monthly reading just keep in mind um, that energy is fluid guys if i didn't pick up on your energy then it's probably because you've never shared your energy with me so like share and subscribe so i can pick up some of your energy and that some of my readings will resonate with you keep in mind this is a general reading so it will not resonate with everyone um if it doesn't please check your other placements i am sure there's a message for you there if you look at my channel i also did it some spiritual guided messages directly from source check those out those are up there um, and you'll maybe be able to get some information from there as well um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get right into it um, with this read i am going to um, pull out some hidden messages and then i will go ahead and do a nine card spread and then i will clarify so i'm going to go ahead and start out with the light sears tarot deck and then i will clarify with the uh, modern witch tarot so we'll go ahead and get into it um capricorn and again thank you guys so much i really appreciate you guys spirit if you would please give me the uh, channeled messages for the highest and greatest good for capricorn and their love life um and the person that they are um contact contacted with or connected with um, with regard to this month for the month of January, let me know what's going to happen with that situation with Capricorn and this person. Um, two more. Yeah, Capricorn. Let's see what we can get. These cards have not been very cooperative with me, but that just means there's a lot of messages here, in my opinion. We're going to get right into it. All right. We're going to go ahead and cut the, the deck. All right, let's clear it. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. So first off at the bottom of the deck, we have the world card. So it looks like in this situation with this person, uh, it looks like that this is going to be a new cycle or and or a new beginning with this person. OK, so I hope you guys can see that that is going to be the world card. Um, so I'm going to say that there may have been some difficulties that was happening um, in this relationship with the person you are connected to. Um, what I'm going to do is pull another card because I want to get an understanding of what else is going on with this situation. Uh, magician. So it looks like there is some manifestation happening. Someone is trying to uh, manifest this situation um, out to be a really, really good situation. Um, something went wrong and uh, it looks like the person that you are in connection with or either yourself um, is definitely trying to manifest um, a good new fresh start with you um, on this situation just uh, keep in mind these are two major arcanas so these things are destined to happen this is going to happen um, there is no doubt about it um, when they show up this way it is definitely something that we do not control it is something that is destined okay um, three of cups. So it looks like this person wants to try to come together and work situations out with you. They don't want to cause any confusion, any arguing, any, um, you know, difficulties that may have happened or stem from the past. It looks like this person is in fact, not only them, but you are willing to try to work this situation out and come to a common ground, um, to be, um, in union with each other. Next card. Uh, two of swords. So it looks like there is some 
up in the head thoughts about how to make this happen but it in fact is something that you guys want to happen so um you guys are thinking about different ways different opportunities how do you go about bringing this into union you guys may be on two totally different pages and may be communicating totally different with each other so it's a matter of you guys taking time to try to hear each other out just i mean like sit down and have a conversation and truly listen to what the other person is saying um, without you know processing in your head what your response is going to be so just be really open-minded clear-minded stay open and listening to what the other person has to say next hidden message is the ten of swords this has been a tough cycle for you guys it has been a tough situation with you guys trying to bring this situation together it has just felt like a true struggle um, but it doesn't look like you guys have given up and with the world card and the magician it is a new cycle waiting to happen and you guys are trying to bring it together the right and uh, correct way so I'm going to go ahead and push this out of the way um, the first card is going to be in this line um, you um, this no this is going to be your person in the middle is going to be the um, mutual energy and then you will be here on the right hand side Give me the first card for Capricorn's person, the Ten of Cups. This person wants the Ten of Cups with you. They are seeing you as everything. They have a ton of love for you. They really, really want um, this Ten of Cups with you. This is home. This is family. This is um, the house. This is the happily ever after. This person sees you as someone that they really want the long term, the uh, new beginning of something bright, something new. This is the card, in my opinion, where people see you guys together and they see you as the ideal um, couple. And that is what this person wants from you. They want to be able to bring this situation to a point where you both are completely happy in your home in your careers in all aspects okay what is the uh, mutual energy for the, the both of you guys the star the star the major connor star this is going to be um, an aquarius energy so your person may be an aquarius um, but they don't have to be um, but the star is uh, beauty it is new it is everything good it is you know the wish of um, everything so I think that this with you guys both being in this energy that there's nothing that could stop you guys you guys are on the right path you know exactly what this union can be if you can bring this situation into balance and with the world card and the magician card here and the three of cups um, I am inclined to say that there is not going to be anything that's going to be able to stand in your way with making this happen. So Capricorn, let me get your energy here. You are in the two of pinnacles. You're balancing this situation like it's been tough for you. you. You've been up in your head trying to figure out what's going on. How do we make this work? Um, this is something that I really, really want, but it's just been a tough road. But you haven't given up with this two of pinnacles. You've been balancing and juggling. You're, you're hanging in there, though. You are hanging in there and you are doing your best um, to not give up on this situation. Um, next card is uh the queen of pentacles your person sees you as the queen of pentacles okay they see you as a very safe stable individual who has it all and can bring it all to the table to um join in union with them to get to this ten of cups okay this is how they're seeing you this is an earth sign um so the person um, may see or the person that you're dealing with may also be a um, Taurus Virgo and or Capricorn but they want this ten of cups with you they see this as a star opportunity like they see this as everything what is at the beating heart of this reading with um, the mutual energy for the both of you guys oh the six of Pentacles you guys want this even um, an equal give and take 
You want to be able to say, if I love you, you love me back. If I cook dinner for you, you'll cook dinner for me. If I am willing to, you know, take care of you when you're sick, then you're willing to do the same for me. It is just um, the yin to your yang. You guys want to be able to say, this is my person and I stand behind them 100%. They are who I am and I am who they are. And we are equally sharing in the responsibility of this relationship. Give me one more card, please. Uh, Queen of Swords. So uh, Capricorn, it looks like you're in your Queen of Swords energy. So something may have went down because there is a Ten of Swords sitting over here. So that there has been some struggles with this relationship. There truly has been. I see the Ten of Swords sitting over here. Um, but it looks like with you, you want to believe this person. You want to be um, giving to this situation but you don't know if you can trust this person and being in this uh, swords energy um it looks like this person may also be maybe a gemini a leaper or aquarius but it doesn't have to be but you are in a queen of swords energy you've been juggling trying to keep this thing on track and now you're in your queen of swords energy saying hey um i've had a lot i've dealt with a lot with this situation and i don't know um if this situation can be what I needed to be, but I'm still here. I'm hanging in there because I do too want this 10 of cups. I want to work together in this three of cups energy, but it's just been hard. Let me see about your person here. The Knight of Wands. So this person has a lot of passion for you. They really, really, really do. They have a lot of passion for you. Um, Capricorn and I and I'm inclined to believe that you have a lot of passion for them as well because when I look here um, you're juggling with this six of cups because you want to be able to give this and you also have passion for this person as well um, so um, I, I think that you guys are just going to have to put in the work to make this happen and I am inclined to believe that this person is very serious when they come in with this Ten of Cups energy and the way that they see you. They admire you. They love you. They feel you are solid, stable and grounded and they feel that you're very, very attractive. So give me one more for the um, mutual energy. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. You guys got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is the entire situation that anybody would want in a relationship, guys. I know it's a struggle, but one thing I can tell you is this, that when you get something good, good things don't always come easy. And the race is not given to the swift nor the strong. It is given to the one that will endure to the end. And I think you guys are doing um, your part in trying to bring this together. Combined collectively, you guys have the star. You have the six of pentacles and you have the ten of pentacles. You guys want this. You guys have the making to make this situation happen. Okay, right here. Give me the outcome for this situation for the both of you guys. Two of Wands. This is you, Capricorn. You are sitting in limbo thinking whether or not this is something you want to continue to give to. Yeah, you're, 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 you're thinking about it. You are definitely thinking about whether or not this is something you want to continue to give to. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Pentacles. So this person is going to come in with an offer for you. Um, and they are going to um, try to um, express some type of um, small gesture um, in trying to get this thing back into balance um, with you. So let me pick this up because I'm going to do the clarification at this point. All right, spirit, give me the clarification for the greatest and highest good for Capricorn and their person. This is a beautiful reading, Capricorn. Believe it or not, this is a beautiful reading. I know sometimes it may not feel like it because there was a little bit of difficulty with that Ten of Swords. But 
believe me, this is a beautiful reading. And I know you are in your head about whether or not this is something you want to continue with. All right. So spirit, if you would, please give me um, the hidden messages for Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. We have the six of wands. So, yeah, this is a victory, guys. This is definitely a victory. This is a victory waiting to happen um, with regard to this situation, a celebration, a new um, something worth celebrating with this person. Next card. Four swords. Someone's in their head about it, Capricorn, and I believe it's you. Um, because if if I look here in your um, row, you are uh, balancing. You're, you're here in your queen of swords and you're still um, in the mindset of trying to make a decision regarding this situation. So, yeah, the four swords, that's definitely you. But you're going to have to come out of your head about this, um, Capricorn. You're definitely going to have to come out of your head about this. Because there's a victory to be had in this situation. Next card, four of wands. Yep. A beautiful home and beautiful foundation. Um, a celebration. The six of wands and the four of wands, it's a celebration. Potential marriage, potential living in uh, the same household, building a strong and stable foundation. Next card, ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles, ten of pentacles. It's going to happen. It's a double confirmation, Capricorn, that that is what is going to happen with this situation, okay? Double confirmation. Next card. Ace of Cups. This person loves you and you love this person. You guys have the same agenda when it comes to this relationship. What is it about this relationship that is scaring you, Capricorn? Yes, there may have been some troubled times. Of course, every relationship has troubled times. Um, please leave in the comments. What has you so in your head about this? Um, I think that I'm inclined to say with the Ten of Swords, you may have had um, some difficulties with this person um, before. And, you know, you don't know if they're going to bring that drama or trouble back to this situation. Um, give me one card spirit on this um, Ten of Cups for um, Capricorn. This person. Two of Swords. Oh, they're in their head, too. They're making a decision, but if you look at it, they are they want the Ten of Cups. They're making a decision, but they they have the star on the side of them. This is going to happen. They're going to make the right decision. And I think that's probably what you're up in your head about is that they've been wishy-washy with regard to this relationship as well. I think that this relationship is such a strong one that it has you guys paranoid, like paranoid on whether or not you can trust this. OK, um, but just know these cards are definitely showing that you can trust this um show me um the mutual energy three of swords that's why the three of swords that's why you're up in your head and that's why they're up in their head because there was a third party situation that affected the situation well i will tell you this there was a third party situation that affected the situation, but this person is choosing you. This is a decision card. They are choosing you because here's the Ace of Cups. They want a, a um, celebration with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want the home with you. They want the stableness. They want this, but they are they don't know whether or not you're going to give them the opportunity to make it right. Give me one more on Capricorn's energy on this Two of Pentacles. Uh, eight of wands they're coming in with communication fast moving communication wanting to talk to you wanting to bring this thing into balance and i'm inclined to say capricorn when they do hear them out um i'm not going to say just go along with it i'm going to say if this person brought in a third party and it has you up in your head this is going to be the time that you have to make this person prove what they say okay Take it very, very slow. Allow this person to show you that they've changed and that this is what they truly want. OK, um, next on the Queen of Pentacles, clarify that for me, spirit. The nine of cups. You are this person's wish fulfillment, because keep in mind, this is your person's row right here. You are this person's wish fulfillment. They they went and they dealt with that third party and they realized it wasn't something that. 
um, was going to be in their best interest. They made a mistake and now they're trying to correct that mistake. Um, and some people are going to say, well, I don't want this person back. And I get it. But let me explain something to you. When you just throw things away without giving a second chance to it, to allow someone to prove that they have changed or that this is something that they want, then you give up on the opportunity of having the thing that the very thing that you wish for. Relationships are not easy and there are going to be times when they are tested. And this was one of those times for you. But my question is, do you have the ability to stand the test of time? Because if you're planning on being married for, I see 10, 10, 10, 30, 20, 30 plus years, things are going to pop up and you got to be willing to work them out. But if this person doesn't show true, then you have the right to slam the door on this entire situation but i don't see any manipulation coming in except for this three of swords that i believe and i am inclined to say is completely over with so you both share in this hurt it is in the mutual energy not only are you hurt by this third party situation but this person is hurt by causing this uh, pain to you so they see you as their nine of cups give me um the beating heart of this reading the world card yep yep they're wanting to close out this cycle this third party uh this third uh three of swords excuse me this third party situation they're closing it out and saying i want a new beginning with you i want something solid i want something real i was stupid now i know the you know what's best for me and i'm here to try to fix it capricorn let me clarify your queen of swords temperance it's gonna be it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some time and it's gonna take some balance and this person's gonna have to give you some equal give and take um and it's gonna be slow moving but it's going to happen um i'm inclined to say that this person is going to be willing to work on this situation with you and whatever test you put them through they are going to they're willing to go through it and go through it and pass it with flying colors even if it means you delaying this and pushing this out of having them prove this for a year to two years or whatever the case may be they're willing to go the distance with this situation they're willing to do the work um give me um one clarification on this knight of wands and capricorn person's energy the ace of pentacles yep they're offering a new beginning something solid something stable something tangible they may come in with the gift uh capricorn um because they want to show their appreciation for you they want to express um how sorry they are but they are sincere as all get out with this ace of pentacles card and this ace of cups sitting over here um, as a clarifier this ten of swords it's behind you it's over it's done um, don't relive it because this person doesn't want to relieve it re relive it either they are just wanting to look towards the future and if you can get to a place of healing and where you can leave this behind then this is going to be a beautiful relationship give me um, clarification on the ten of pentacles death death so if you look at this this uh, the three of swords to the world card to the death card so this person is done they're done with the craziness they are putting death to all of the craziness that has happened um in this situation with you guys they want to start anew with you they want a new situation death is a opportunity for rebirth for something new for something else to um rebirth from this situation okay give me uh three cards on this two of wands and the overall outcome for this reading for capricorn page of pentacles the world card and the sun capricorn it's going to happen and it looks like you are going to be willing 
to um, allow them to make this up to you. It may be slow um, because the page of Pinnacle is a small offer, but they're going to make that gesture and that offer to you. The will is going to turn into your favor and the favor of this person, and you will have the sun in the end. All of this is for the taking for you, but when we're hurt, we have to make sure that we are able to forgive and that not only are we able to forgive, but we are willing and able to put things behind us to never revisit them again. As long as this person puts in the work that they are showing on this board that they are willing to put in there at the bottom of the deck, you have the five of Pentacles. This is, this is going to be the outcome if you decide not to move forward with this situation um, and try to work this thing out. You're going to be out in the cold. You're going to feel a bad hurt. Um, and so will this person. So this is a mutual feeling for you guys. Capricorn, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped. I hope it resonates. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for all the love. Thank you guys for the donations. I wasn't expecting anyone to donate um, by going to the link tree in my bio. But I thank you so much for the donations I received on my birthday to my channel to help me get these messages out to you guys. Um, again, take care. I appreciate all of your love and support on my last video and you have a great one. Thanks. Bye-bye.